Hello YouTube. Um, what I'm going to be showing you right now is some of the features that were included with the Mango update uh, for your Windows mobile phone. Um, those of you like a while back, um, not a while back, but just uh, uh, sometime a couple weeks ago I think, or maybe a little bit more, um, a lot of people started getting the Mango update, which is your Windows um, update from Windows Mobile 7 to Win Windows Mobile 7.5. Now, um, here are just some of the features that were included with the update. Now, one of the key features that I kind of enjoyed having on this now is the fact that they added multi-touch, um, not multi-touch, but multitasking. And uh, with, uh, back then, for those of you who have a Windows phone from when it first came out, um, you'll notice that you have to go to your application, then go home, and then go to another application, then go home, and stuff like that. Um, now, basically, what it does is that um, you will be able to um, well, go switch between applications by simply pressing the back button. If you leave it hold for a couple seconds, um, you'll get your features. Uh, whatever you were working on beforehand and stuff like that, you'll be able to go back and um, kind of gives you like the little windows tab things. You could switch, say you were playing a game or your Xbox and stuff like that, and then you want to go back to um, mobile and stuff like that. So mobiles, bang, um, you can do that. Uh, that is one of the features that. Uh, was a very needed uh, feature, especially since um, those platforms that have been around for a while barely started getting the multitasking thing going and having Windows Mobile being a new platform and having them advance at such a pace is an added bonus for all you Windows Mobile 7 users, uh, since it does carry a lot of potential. Now, another feature that I kind of enjoyed is that um, it kind of gives you like the Siri feature from the iPhone 4S. Um, this one came out way before, um, but it's not exactly like Siri, but um, came out before the iOS 5. So, um, if you just go ahead and press your home button and leaving, leave it pressed for a little bit, you'll see your little listening thing here. If you click on the little question mark, it'll show you kind of like what your, what kind of commands you can do. For calling, you could do call, call whatever's mobile, call on speaker, voicemail, redial, and stuff like that. For find, you could do uh, find coffee in Seattle, um, find a shoe store, and stuff like that. Um, you can open your applications simply by pressing and holding the home button and um, just stating call, um, call, I'm sorry, open Netflix or open stuff like that, which is a pretty interesting feature. Texts, um, unfortunately you can't actually text by, um, by voice. Um, right now you can just open your little text thingy, just click text, like the text chain and stuff like that. Um, while you're in a call, you can actually um, leave it pressing while you're in a call and you can add a call just by simply, simply saying call whatever person and stuff like that. And uh, or you can just like um, your, your first speed dials and stuff like that. Um, several things that you could do with it. Um, that's basically it. Let me just show you how it works. I don't have a SIM card, so I basically can't call anyone right now. Um, but uh, open Facebook. Starting Facebook. And um, I'll go ahead and open up your applications and stuff like that, which is a pretty interesting bonus. Another feature is when you go to your search, which is Bing. Um, press Bing, um, you can see on the bottom here where it has, let me see if I can lift this up for you guys, where it has a little music icon, a little eye, and a little voice. Now you can do ser voice um, searches. Um, you can actually, if you click on the little eye thing, you can actually um, search by, by, 
QR codes and scan codes and stuff like that. And um, you can actually search music by Billy Joe or I'm seriously out in the loop when it comes to Lady Gaga or something. And I'll recognize it and do the search for, for you. It does the search for you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to work through the slips, so people, please give me a break. Uh, another feature that oh, I can't stress enough how much it should have been incorporated uh, once the phone came out. Uh, one of the reasons why I actually went ahead and started buying several different phones and didn't stick much with the Windows phone was basically I'm on the internet a lot and uh, it was so inconveniencing to um, those of you who have had this before um, you're, you'd go to your internet and you'd basically have this one on the top and you could do searches there like type in web addresses and stuff but as soon as you rotate it you would lose this bar and all you had to do was like for reading which is which was like oh frustrating sometimes but now as you can see on the bottom they've actually um, left the bar on the bottom and from here you can switch tabs and stuff like that and um, I cannot stress enough how welcome and how much um, really needed was that little fit feature to be able to navigate while in landscape mode like then you just have to go to your portrait and then type in whatever and then go back to your landscape and stuff like that and for this being a 4.3 screen it it should have been out when it came out when Windows uh, Mobile 7 started out but they've added it and that's a plus actually it makes me want to consider actually um, playing around with this phone, keeping it for a couple months instead of my iPhone. Um, I do have my iPhone, but I love my iPhone. I don't know. Maybe I'll adjust for a couple months. Doesn't hurt, right? But I do alternate between my Dell Streak and my iPhone, so I guess I might um, alternate between my iPhone and my Windows. Um, and that's it. Those are just some of the features. Um, you you are allowed to have uh, custom ringtones, but it, it's all done through Zoom. You have to do it through there and make sure you add it and in proper formatting and stuff like that in order to add the ringtone, custom ringtone. And um, another thing that you might want to check out is that on the marketplace, um, the HTC apps added a couple of other things like HTC Watch, Locations, Connected Media, and Tango. Um, connected Media, you can actually go through all the your pictures that are automatically uploaded to your Windows Live account. You will be able to have that um, keep, keep a bit of view in it on your phone and stuff. And Tango Calls and Doc Mode, which is like some pretty good decent applications to make it. You guys might want to check out for the Mango update. And that's it. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you all know other features, just go ahead and leave a comment with them so other people can actually see some of the stuff that you can do with the update. So that's it. Bye.